not feeding her, not giving her something in particular she wanted. But she had options to get other things or send her on an airplane alone. First of all, as CJ, I would not send her on that plane alone. So you want me to send her? You better come get her. You know what I'm saying? You're the one who want her to leave, not me. So come get her. I'm not sending my child all the way across the world by herself. Are you crazy? You know how much shit going on? I was sent back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't want to listen. But now I'm gunning for redemption. I want redemption. I want it. I got it. I want redemption. What's up, y'all? She girl need G the host. And today, we about to get to some freaking videos, bruh. Because it's time to get to a yurt. I'm going to go ahead and get to one of the videos. I don't even want to talk too much. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I am going to talk. Um, so we're not calling this words on the screen anymore. We're going to call this breeze. Make sure you go get your breeze, bro. <laughs> Just go get your breeze, man. Link in the description, bro. Also, I'm going to stop uh, cursing so much. I'm going to try. I'm grown. But now, um, so... The other day, CJ So Cool and Royalty and his baby mama got into it. And what it was over is crazy to me. So what it was over, I don't think that's what it was really over. However, I'm going to react to this video. This is the second time. So for the people that don't know, CJ So Cool is uh, engaged to uh, his girl. Well, his obviously... She was his girlfriend or whatever. She ain't his baby mama. That's what I'm trying to say. So, he's engaged to the non-baby mama. And the baby mama, he ain't engaged to. Right? So, non-baby mama gets a call from CJ's baby. And she was saying that, you know, CJ didn't want to feed her or whatever. Just because they, she said no to lasagna. She wanted some lasagna. She wanted some extra lasagna or whatever. So petty. So CJ told his daughter if she keep being bad, he gonna send her back to her mom. Now, CJ has his methods on how he do things. I don't have no kids. I can't tell no grown man how to raise his kids and do what he do with his kids, okay? Really, frankly, that ain't none of my business. But I don't think that was the best approach. Might not have been the smartest thing to do. Um, he said he doesn't physically touch them, which, you know, is cool. Um, but apparently it made her afraid. So she called her mom and her mom like, yo, you ain't gonna be telling my child pretty much what it sounds like to her is like, so you can't feed my child. You know what I'm saying? You got all them damn kids over there, got all that money over there and you can't feed my child. It's what I feel like it sound like to her. So she decide, you know what I'm saying? All right, you tried it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm coming to get my baby and shit. But they getting into it because, you know, she gets to talking greasy about their babies and, you know what I'm saying, because they recently had a miscarriage or whatever. The baby was outside of the fallopian tubes or whatever. So, she get to talking greasy about that and her and Royalty got into it. I'm going to react to this, get my little two cent on it, you know what I'm saying, but I think it's petty as hell and y'all need to get it together. Oh my god. Forget it. I'm gonna just watch it. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Melanie Monroe. <laughs> Another day, more YouTube drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about CJ So Cool, Royalty, and Nike's baby mom. Yes, the other day they had a little feud, and things have still not died down yet. Nike was supposed to be going to pick up little Kamari on Friday, but it looks like things have changed. Flights have canceled and Kamari will be riding home to Gary by herself. Royalty was on Instagram. Like what's worse, not feeding your child or have a go 
in the air. You know, oh, excuse me, not not feeding her, not giving her something in particular she wanted. But she had options to get other things or send her on an airplane alone. First of all, as CJ, I would not send her on that plane alone. So you want me to send her? You better come get her. You know what I'm saying? You're the one who want her to leave, not me. So come get her. I'm not sending my child all the way across the world by herself. Are you crazy? You know how much shit going on? No, ma'am. Story filming shots at night and uh, well, let's just get into the video. So allegedly this is the text message that CJ sent to his baby mom and says she may be blind to the fact of the matter that royalty actually has never had a problem with you and there's still no problem. We are all on another level. We are in this together. Nobody wants to downplay you are a stand up mother doing all you can to raise your child after the father left you both. And now that the father's back to help, don't push him away. He's finally ready to twenty four thousand dollars a year as the little girl's father. That's I don't want you to wait mark to out how much a month. Uh twenty four thousand. 12 months, huh? I don't want to get shit wrong. But I want to know because I was wondering how much he was paying. Um, let's see. 24. Ten, I mean, um, divided by 12. It's $2,000 a month. That ain't all that. <laughs> Not with what he made. <laughs> For her to have a say, I want to live with my dad. She already. Well, I mean, to get two thousand dollars to do really nothing. You know what I'm saying? But to take care of your child. I get it. But if she take him to court, he gonna be paying way more. He might want to up that up. That she wants to be here. Let's just come to a mutual decision that Kamari can come here and stay for a while and be taught by different teachers and communicate with other types of kids with different backgrounds. Giving her the best possible outcome for a better future. At the same time, if the blank isn't enough, then you tell me a number. Forget what anybody thinks about what type of parent you are. Who are they to judge you? Hey, Only God can judge more. you. And until the people talking help you, they shouldn't matter. I love you and always loved you. And me being with royalty won't change that. But I make decisions in my life and I have to live with them and I'm begging you not to hold them against me any longer. I'm ready to be her father. She's my child 99.9% .9 mine and I want her to remember me for who, I'm in it, for who I am, not my YouTube video. She knows you. She's been with you since birth. But I'm literally I mean, he's begging to be the daddy. Like, like, how many men you know that. begging to be in their kids' lives? You know what I'm saying? Like, she doing my man dirt. How am I... How about I give you a number that I'm comfortable paying you a year, twenty-four thousand a year. That's a month. That's two thousand dollars a month. Extra dollars you could be doing so much better with, and so with your child, you can't beat that. That's me trying to prove how serious I am. I'll even sign a contract saying that if I don't pay, and then she didn't share the rest of the text message. So Nike as well posted these on her snap. I'm sorry, on her Instagram. You buy your receipts, pool check. Yo, nigga seems like he don't know where home at. Never pressed about no bucks. He <clears throat> says the money when something. You gotta come with some facts to move me. You just a big capper. Shorty, uh, my son Mari goes to Vegas. Story, and it's a scared. picture of a Versace bag. And on the card of the Versace bag, it says, you're welcome, baby mama. And her caption says, I keep all receipts, poo. Check your man. Seems like he don't know where home at. Never pressed about no bucks. He sends the money willingly. <laughs> Nike also said, you got to come with some facts to move me. You just a big capper, Shorty. LMAO, Mari goes to Vegas because her daddy's scared of Gary. And that's bad. He probably is. I ain't gonna lie. So this is when royalty started. You probably feel like you're gonna get robbed. Her Instagram story yesterday, throwing shots at the baby mom. Hey. Okay. <laughs> you have to move. Why? Wait, wait, wait! Do you guys all want to do all of us or just me? Oh, that's why she was doing all that shit. First 
<laughs> she is royalty petty as hell. Happy anniversary. I ain't gonna lie, she out there living a the good life. For real. Cause CJ a good dude. Now he probably kinda be trying to get some cheeks from the baby mama. But then again, he might not. He only see it like what? Once a year? Cause she don't ever want to bring that uh his child around, which is so like you stupid. A man like him, you could get anything out of him. Like are are you crazy? You should have just took the two thousand up to five thousand dollars a month. I mean, and I, I'm not supporting it. I'm just saying, if money is the thing, which will never be enough. Money is never enough enough for anybody. By the way, I think two thousand dollars is a little low. Um, but he probably sends her clothes, you know, shoes and all kind of stuff. So I mean, you just never know what's going on in people's lives, bro. But um, $2,000 for the person he is, you know, because I don't know what her expenses are, but it's a lot. This is a lot. More prosperity and more years to come. They both was being petty. Mm -hmm. Lamb chops. Mm -hmm. Baby. Instead of asking for Versace shoes, you should have asked for a new car, a new house. Facts. Or let's talk about how you spent all Kamari tour money at Victoria's Secret. That's terrible. You could only get shoes because that's the only way Kamari was to stay for a year. You sold your kid for some Versace shoes because lasagna. And they're Soldier Boy. Melanin Monroe, you could have did that in, in Soldier Boy way. <laughs> that was terrible. Fun fact, I never had a miscarriage as an ectopic pregnancy. It's a big difference. Either a man gonna build with you or destroy you. Simple. It don't take 10 years to figure that out. Ver not Versace, she said. <laughs> that was better. We heard you not coming Friday because you scary. And that's facts. Hashtag PRP. Puerto Rican wear with an old picture of Nike. And then you the only thing that's trying to keep up, boo. And then she said, lasagna. <laughs> picture of a I don't know what CJ was doing. Then she posted this. This is how you going to look when I'm done with you on the MF flow. <laughs> she said, can't trust the hurt miserable female. They do anything for clout. Okay. So at this point. I ain't going to lie. I, I feel like Nike, Nike is being spiteful. She's holding the baby as a pawn. Well, not the baby, but his child as a pawn over him. Because that's his weakness. You know what I'm saying? That's the only weakness he has. But you're an idiot. Because it, it seems like you're trying to be in competition with royalty, which you want. Uh, because she's she's winning, sis. But if you had enough sense and you wanted to 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 use his child against him, I mean, at least do it for the sake of getting paid because you hurting your baby. You know what I'm saying? Like at the, like it's 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 really three types of people in this world. But the greedy, you know, I'm going to take the child away from him because he ain't give me no money. Or I'm going to take the child away from him because he ain't um, marrying me. You know what I'm saying? Like, sis, give it up. You know? And it's just ridiculous. Like, I get it. Royalty did. Royalty went a little far. <laughs> Royalty went a little far. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my child around nobody that disrespect me. But this this isn't the first time this has happened. Like for this case, you got a reason for that. But everything else before that, it you seem like you you just a jealous baby mama. You know what I'm saying right now? So I don't know. I just feel like this is a mess, and she just need to let her child go see her daddy, like normal people do, and get a life, man. <laughs> And CJ felt like it was finally a good time. She brought me mad to speak out. And he made another video on his channel talking about the whole situation between Nike and his baby mom. So I'm going to play some clips of that video. I am going to alter the sound and the way it looks just for copyright reasons, y'all. But here we go. It's my mic. A lot has transpired last night. Thank you, Melanie Moreau, because he copyrights his video. So we would have both got copyrighted. Thank you. 
T was on live, her mom was on live, everybody was on live, right? Except me, obviously, because you know what? I really don't have nothing to do with none of this. I'm just focused on Kamari. All that roof ride and hippity hoop hop and pictures and text messages and, and receipts or whatever the heck you got. Keep on pulling that out. We need that. We need everything you got. Pull it all out. All, right? all your big shots. Quit playing with the little jabs. We don't want to do that. We want the real haymakers. All right? Bring out the haymakers. Everything you got on me or anybody. All right? And then once that's out, we can all say officially we're done. She ain't got nothing left. We don't want nothing to do with it. And it's just simple. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but come on here right there. She just got you calling. Or she probably still calling. You still calling? Uh, she don't even want to bring up. I told her to call him. She keep not listening to me. Call ASAP. Call ASAP. I told you to call her. Give me your hand. She said to tell you that. Anyway, guys, the new plan, because the old plan was she was supposed to be coming to get Kamari, but the new plan is now I'm going to And then if y'all sign an agreement for her to stay with you for a year, she wouldn't be going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Because you wouldn't be kidnapping her. Now, ain't no telling how far she'll go. Is the issue. You know what I'm saying? I guess a shame like me gonna be like, man, I don't work this hard, got all this, whatever. And you know, he could go to jail. He a black man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she's a little girl. It can look like he, you know what I'm saying, trying to steal the child, kidnap his own child. It's just a lot. So I see why he's not really fighting this. But not only that, you know, it you don't want to take your child away from their mother. It's just, it's this shit so, God, black community, can we do better? <laughs> can we do better, please? This is ridiculous. This man, ever since I've been watching him, only want to have his damn baby. Like, like, ever since I've been watching him, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's been like for two, three years now. I just want my, I just want to see my daughter. I just want to see my daughter. Like, why is, does he have to beg? You know what I'm saying? Right, to the airport, it's just gonna be flying along as usual. No, I'm, I'm not sending my. No. Should I do First of all, CJ, no, you shouldn't. And and my guy, you know, and and it, this is so selfish on both of their ends because she want she want Kamari to come back, but she don't want to hop on a plane because Royalty don't say she gonna whoop her ass. But he don't want to go to Gary and Anda, Gary and Danda. Gary, Indiana, because I think he think he gonna get robbed. Somebody gonna try and kill him. Something crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think he's afraid to go. So you got this child. You so y'all done separated your shit. You know what I'm saying? You got this child, and now you just like, okay, we ain't going. She gonna go by herself. That's the decision. That. That's the decision, y'all. Like forget. You and forget the baby mama. You know how much crazy, sick, disgusting people are out here right now? Y'all, she has to walk through the airport. I'm sure they'll let him go through TSA. I'm sure they'll let her get on the plane. Now, it's her mother's job to be at her gate when she lands. But who on the plane with her? Can you imagine being eight on a plane by yourself just under somebody else's responsibility that you don't even know? Who responsibility would she even be under? Hey, you ain't got no cousins, no brothers, no nobody that'll hop on a plane with her. This is, this is a little ridiculous, y'all. <laughs> Why? I was promised that I can keep my child for a year. Not a couple of months, not halfway through the summer, but not when I changed my mind to get out of two. That wasn't in the original contract. The original contract was I will continue to pay child support. If you want to come on here, it's going to get you let me she can't break the contract. Year. Other than that, while I have come on in the summer, I don't see why I should be paying you anything because I'm the one with the physical child having all the burdens that comes with having a child. And to get back into specific detail, I also noticed something that was very inappropriate. It was her talking about basically all these kids as usual about how we don't take them to the doctor or how we don't do this for them and that. Look, man, that ain't some business, okay? And as far as Kamari is concerned, everyone that watches my videos will tell you Kamari has not been sick since she's been out here ever. She's never got sick. She never had a broken arm. She ain't never did nothing inappropriate on the internet. She ain't had no breathing issue. The girl's ass a pump is on the camera.
gonna she don't even touch the pants. Okay? <laughs> so I don't know what kind of asthma problems she have out there in Gary, but trust me, the polluted air out there from the steel mills is not out here, okay? But that's just to cover that up because I hate when people think they can run your household and their household, even though they're 3,000 miles away. Anyway, if you personally ask Kamari, his teeth she, really. Look at me looking at his teeth. His teeth really look good because a lot of other people's teeth don't look as good as his. Now, granted, they big, you know, but they look good. Now, I'm gonna just let I tell you. How do you feel about all this? Bad? Is it crazy? Like, did you think you was really gonna be going to school out here with Carnation? Of course you feel bad, girl. So are you like sad that you have to go back home now? Yes. Even though that was no original plan? Damn. Well, what about this? When I told you, if you keep being bad, I'm gonna take you back home, do you wish you didn't call your mom? Because you didn't really need to, did you? I mean, would you rather get a whooping? Exactly. You rather me tell you that if you keep being bad, I'm gonna take you home or whoop you, and you rather me tell you that. And that is where I'll, I mean, I think it's appropriate to tell her that. I don't know, guys. Comment down below how you. Well, obviously, it's not the best thing you can say. But, like I say, I ain't got no kid. You know what I mean? I can tell you how to raise your kids. You know what I'm saying? But, that could have went a little different. Whatever. I, I feel like this is going to be going on for a very long time. Yeah, let's so go with 18 years. In last video, I feel like both women are jealous of each other and their positions and places in CJ's life. I feel like CJ needs to stand up and Facts. do more and some kind of way make them come to have them come to a mutual ground so everybody understands their position. I think Royalty got his, well, honestly, both of them baby mamas got him wrapped around. Excuse me. Both of them got him wrapped around you know what i'm saying they fingers or whatever because he like i ain't trying to make royalty mad i ain't trying to make my baby mama mad i just want my baby you know what i'm saying but you the one you the one with everything you the one with the money you the one who wear the pants like bro put some shit down you know what i'm saying he's just begging and the child listen this is a lot i wish him the best you know because this is a this is a mess but i'll tell you one thing i wouldn't be sending my child on no plane by herself this world's so crazy, bro. At that point, I'm gonna have to take the charge or whatever this, whatever you're trying to say I did. I mean, I record everything anyway, so I mean, but the thought of sending my child on a plane alone, mm -mm, mm -mm, that ain't, mm -mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. But all right, y'all, for more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's Royalty Apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right, okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.